Hello everybody, how you doing today? This is Steve at the Guru Brew. Well, you knew it was coming. Christmas is coming quick. What are we going to make? Well, we're going to make a USB powered Christmas tree, of course. Let's get started. Okay. To get started with our USB powered Christmas tree, we're going to have to have some Christmas tree lights. And I picked these up at Big Lots. These are uh, 20 LED battery operated lights. You can see down here, I just paid $5 for them. So that's a really good deal. And I like them because they're colored and uh, they're low, low power usage. It says right here they can uh, operate on three AA batteries not included. And a USB uh, port on a computer is a 5 volt, so it's something that we can deal with. Something else we're going to need is we're going to need a USB cable. We'll end up just cutting the end off this one, but uh, this is the style that we want here on this one. It's a male type A. So uh, we'll get our 5 volts from this cable, and then we're just going to convert it to run it into here. So let's open up these Christmas lights here and see what we have to work with. Okay. Give us a couple extra spare bobs here, which is nice. And we have the battery pack with a little switch on it. Let's open this up here and see what we have. What I'm looking for is how these, these batteries are wired up. And they're wired up in series. And the reason why I know that is it starts here. And it runs through here and then it goes to here and then it goes to there. So if you add up 1.5 for each one of these, and that's three, four and a half volts. So this light set is designed to run on four and a half volts. And there's a tiny little resistor, I can see it down in there right by the switch, which will knock them back to three volts probably. I'm guessing most LEDs run on three volts, so I'm guessing that's what that's for. So this is just a simple matter of putting a hole in here, running our USB cable in, hooking it uh, negative here and positive up here, putting our case back on and see what we get. So let's, uh, let's do that now. This is the USB cable that I selected to use. It was only a few bucks. And then we're going to cut it up and use it just for this purpose. So. We only spent a lot for a cable that we're just going to cut into. What you're looking for is the type Type A male. And you can see it right here. Doesn't matter what's on the other end, but this one happens to be a mini 5 pin, which is this one. Now you can get diagrams on Google and stuff like that how these USB cables work. There's basically just four wires inside here. There's a red and a black, which are your 5 volt power DC. And then there's two data lines, plus and minus. So there's four wires in all. And you can see, if you look closely on these USBs, there's four connectors inside there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But we're just going to go ahead and cut the end off this. The one I picked up here, I think 60 inches, should be fine for this purpose. Just cut it off. And then use our strippers here. I'll grab a knife. You just want to be careful when you cut this plastic back that you don't short any of the wires out because that could mess up your whole day. I 
There you can see there's a there's a black, a green, a white, and a red. And the two that we're concerned with are the, the red and the black. And these two here we won't be using for this project. Now I want to examine this really closely and make sure that I haven't nicked it with my blade at all. And if I have, I need to chop it off and start again because um, if you have a short in this cable, there's a chance that you can you can blow out your USB port on your computer and you don't want that. You can see right there where I cut into that one. So that's something you do not want. I'm going to cut mine back even a little bit further here. Just nick it and then take your fingernail and pull it off the rest of the way, it'd be just fine. So I'm going to separate out my, my red and my black and I'm going to take these two and just cut them right off. I don't need them. Go and strip these. Okay, I'm going to go get my solder iron. I'll be back. I'm setting this up in my in my little clamp here so I can put a little bit of solder on the, each one of the ends of these wires so it'll make it easier to go ahead and solder in the box when I'm ready for that. So I'm just going to take my solder and iron and put a little bit on each. It's called tinning the wire. Just run like that. Okay. The next thing I have to do is I have to get the USB wire into this little case. And I'm going to do that with a little drill bit. I'm not going to be putting batteries in this. So I can just go ahead and get my drill bit and uh, run it right through here. So I'll do that next. Let the drill bit do the work. Okay, very good. Well, the next step is to feed the USB wire that I stripped and tin the ends on through this hole. I'm going to put a little piece of shrink tubing on this wire so that it can't pull out this hole. That'll do it. To give myself a little bit more room in here to work, I'm going to go ahead and pull out this metal piece here. Also break this off here so I can run my wire through there. There we go. Okay, now it's just a simple matter of uh, the red goes up here to the positive and the black comes down here to the negative. Okay, looks like we've got it. Okay, once all our solder connections look good, 
We can go ahead and button it up. Now, before you plug this into your computer, I would recommend that you would uh, test it first. And you can test it on one of these devices. This is a USB wall wart charger. And you could just plug this in here and make sure that everything's good to go before you plug it in your computer and burn it out. <laughs> so let's uh, let's try it out on this. There we go. There it is. Looks good. So I would say that this is safe for um, plugging in a computer. Next step, let's get them on the tree and. Uh, try it out for real okay well I decided to put it here right on top of my computer um, we'll try it here and then if I like it I'll go ahead and make another one I still have to button up some of these these lights are kind of going crazy got a little Charlie Brown tree here this is just a little foot tall uh, Christmas tree that I picked up for a couple bucks at the discount store it's got a, it's got a little bag on it with a bow It'll come out pretty nice I probably did an overkill with the lights. There's 20 lights on there, as you've seen on the package, but uh, I think it'll be okay. I might need a star or something like that. Then I, I ran my controller back there, you can see. And uh, my USB wire is coming up here, and I've got it right there. So I guess I'm going to plug it into this HP and see if it works. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, no smoke, that's a good thing. Let's uh, hit the switch on this thing, see what happens. Hey, hey, that looks really good, right? I like it. I feel more festive already. I'm a little surprised by the blinking of the bobs. I didn't know that these bobs blinked. I didn't read that on the package. Of course, uh, I might have missed it, but uh, either way, it looks pretty good. Maybe that's what those extra bobs were for, is they don't blink. I don't know. Kind of a bonus. Another nice thing about this USB Christmas tree is I won't have to use any batteries. I won't have to replace any batteries at all. And uh, also, the USB port will go out when the computer is shut off, so let's try that and see what happens here. we we'll shut the computer down and see if our tree goes off here. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it back on here. Then it goes back on when you hit the power button. Okay guys, there you have it. There's my USB powered Christmas tree. I hope you liked this one. It was a lot of fun for me. I plan on doing some more Christmas hacks and uh, we're still early on yet. We've got a few weeks before Christmas so, you know, you get me started and I can't end. <laughs> okay guys, well thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.